Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Wadash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just Bayan back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to get into a brief lesson uh, that was inspired uh, by what this wacky tacky preacher, you know, was talking about on a lesson that Elder Manatha Zakba posted. You know, he was talking about um, <laughs> uh, trusting what you feel, you know, not in what you hear. See, he lacks the understanding of the scriptures and he is not knowing them because ultimately the Lord said, I believe that's in Jeremiah, the third chapter, he's going to set up pastors according to his heart that will feed us with knowledge and understanding. And we believe wholeheartedly it's the elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down, man. Okay, because again, you know, these scriptures are being broken down, pinpoint accurate by the elders and apostles, man. All right. And they prophesied on. Uh, specific critical prophecies and they've come and they're coming to pass you see so hey we know who our leaders are you know and our power doesn't dwell in temples made with hands so all you wacky tacky christians in these churches the lord's not there that's why they keep getting shot up this is why these pastors and preachers and, and uh, priests keep you know touching on the kids uh committing adultery with uh, uh men's wives because the lord's not dealing and there's no righteousness in there you see there's no righteousness in there and ultimately the point I want to make in this lesson is that us walking in this light, okay, this is going to lead us right into the kingdom. Now, we understand that those that are delivered, are, are, it's, all it's all predestination. You know, they've been predestined to be delivered. And it's through grace that we're going to be saved. But ultimately, those of the elect, Lord willing, with part of that precious number, are going to be wired, you know, to fear the Lord, okay, to rehearse the righteous acts, and then be full, filled with faith and works. You see? The elect is gonna they're gonna they're gonna show those attributes. You see? And ultimately they're not gonna lean upon their own understanding. Let's start there. The book of Proverbs, which is what you wacky tacky Christians do, and you unbelieving so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You err not knowing the scriptures and you lean upon your own understanding. And the scriptures say, My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. So because of that, you're gonna be destroyed, man. The book of Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5 and it reads trust in the Lord with all thine heart what's that mean trust in the Lord with all thine mind your mind in the Hebrew is la which is your heart which is your heart okay heart in the Hebrew is la which is your mind okay so we're not gonna we're not to uh, uh, think uh, uh, lean upon our, like it's gonna say here and lean not unto thine own understanding you see so if the scriptures tell us that we have a dietary law, we're not supposed to be eating pork, shrimp, lobster, crab, uh, crabs, catfish, okay, and things of the sort. Hey, we are not to do that. And that's something we can we can upheld and uphold, okay, on this side. We can do that. You know, we can watch what we eat watch what we eat and, 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 and correct our diet. You see, the Lord didn't put a dietary law in the scriptures for nothing. That's not written for no reason. It's written to preserve us, man. You see? That our power is all righteous, all wisdom, you see? And those of the hopeful elect understand that, you see? And, and ultimately, ultimately, this, he also mentioned um, when you worship the Bible more than, more than God, this, that, and the third, does he not realize that this is the book of, this is the, book of the commandments? <laughs> those that keep it should come to life. What's that, Baruch? You see? We, this is our, this is our, our, uh, blueprint okay to, to to righteousness man and pursuing the wisdom of solomon um righteousness is immortal i believe that's right i believe that's wisdom of solomon in the first chapter and ultimately in the kingdom of heaven okay these law statutes and commandments are going to be within us we're going to be wired with all these law statutes and commandments which is going to make us immortal okay and these law statutes and commandments are going to be the pillars of us ruling over the nations okay this is why the earth is going to become a paradise once again and the earth is going to be full with all right. It's going to be all righteous, man. This earth is going to be a paradise. All right, let's go here. Let's get this in um in Joshua real quick. Bear with me. Let's get that in Joshua. 
What did the Lord tell Joshua? The book of Joshua, chapter 1. Verse 8 is my point, but I want to start up from the top. Okay? Now, Joshua, Joshua was from the tribe of Ephraim. All right? He was, um, what, him and him, Joshua and Caleb were the two, were the two spies. There were 12, 12 spies, but they were the only two. Right? They spied out the land of Canaan, right? Um, which is now the Holy Land, right? Jerusalem. They, they, they were the only two spies with a good report. Okay, they be, they believe that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai can make it happen. We'll be able to take those uh <laughs> those Hamites down, right, and move them out the way. They were the only two with a good report. Okay? And they were the only two that actually were able to go into the promised land. You see, of their generation. And then there was because uh, uh, there was a forty uh, forty years in the wilderness, all you know, all the uh <laughs> men died off of that unbelieving generation. You see? So needless to say, let's go into this real quick, right? Now, after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister, saying, Moses, my servant is dead. Now, therefore, arise, go over this Jordan, thou and all this people, unto the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel, right? And, and you can read about that account of... um. Uh, the 12 spies and numbers, I believe that's numbers 12 or 13. I believe it's numbers the 13 chapter. Let's continue on. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon that have that, that, uh, that I, that have I, Salakia. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon that have I given unto you as I said unto Moses from the wilderness in this Lebanon, even unto the great river, the river Euphrates, Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, and unto the great sea. Yeah, what great sea? The Mediterranean Sea. Right? Toward the going down of the sun shall be your coast. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so will I be with thee. And you, we know that Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shai spoke to Moses face to face. You see, meaning he, he was speaking with, he was dealing with him on a high level. I mean, even when um, uh, Aaron and Miriam were speaking uh, against Moses, you know, because of his uh, Ethiopian wife. Hey, what did he do? He smacked Miriam with leprosy. You see, and cast her out of the camp for 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 a week, for over a week. <laughs> Why? Because they were speaking against Moses. He, 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 he was dealing with Moses, man. And he was dealing with Joshua on a high level as well. All right, let's continue on. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Be strong and of good courage. For unto this people shalt thou divide for an inheritance the land which I swear unto their fathers to give them. And we're going back to this land, Akiyam and Akwath, in the days to come. You can read about it and you can read Deuteronomy 30. One of many places. Okay, where it goes into how we're going to be taken back to our land. Okay, which is Jerusalem, man. Israel, all that's going to be, man, all that's, that's our land. Okay, and we, we, the Lord, hey, we're going to, that's going to be the headquarters in the eon to come, in the time of Jacob. That's going to be the headquarters, man. Okay, let's continue on. Only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left. Right? Don't waver. Right? That thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. You see? Because this is, the, this is our wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Okay? And when you go to Deuteronomy, let's get this real quick in Deuteronomy. Uh, what's that? Deuteronomy 4. Stay hey, with me real quick. Uh, I don't want to leave my spot. Con, this is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 4, right? And I'm going to start at verse 4, go straight to the point. Now, this is Moses speaking. But ye that did cleave unto the Lord, your power, 
are alive, every one of you this day. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my power commanded me, that ye should do so in the land whither you go to possess it. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nation. See that? Hey, and this is what makes us a holy people. You see? Us being given these these uh, laws, statutes, and commandments, man. Being under that the covenant with our power. Hey, this is what makes us uh, above all the nations. You see? And, hey, we can prove that too. Let me, I'm going to get down in Deuteronomy uh, 7 real quick. Let me just continue on. Uh, keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say... Surely this great nation is wise and uh, is a wise and understanding people. For what nation is there so great who have the Yahweh by Hashem Shai so nigh unto them as the Lord our power is in all things that we call upon him for? And what nation is there so great that has statutes and judgments so righteous, see? Uh, as all this law which I set before you this Day, you see, and this sets us over the nations because they're hey, they're considered beasts, man. You know, lacking this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, right? And let's prove we're over the nations with this knowledge, man. Let's get this real quick. Hey, we're over every nation, man. Yeah, there's a such thing as a, a a chosen. You see, hey, we're not all equal, like they say on this side. No, not according to the scriptures. We're going to prove it right now The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 And verse 6 and it reads For thou art an holy people Unto the Lord thy power What does holy mean? Separate, consecrated You see? The Lord thy power hath chosen thee To be a special people Unto himself Above all people That are upon the face Of the earth You see? <laughs> we are better than all these nations, man. Point blank, period. Why? Because we're the chosen nation of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, and you also got um. There's so many scriptures on this, ridiculous. Psalms 33 and 12 blesses the nation whose power is the Lord, who He has chosen for His own inheritance. You see, <laughs> why are we blessed? Because we're above every nation, man. We have these righteous laws, statutes, and commandments that the elect on this side are rehearsing. You see? And Lord willing, we're part of that precious number and we're going to be delivered from the noise of the arches, man. Which is when these when these missiles are shot off, Lord willing, we're preserved until the end and Lord willing, we're part of that precious number. We get beamed into chariots, man. And we get to take part in that second exodus, which is upon us, man. Let's continue on in Joshua 1 and 8 to continue to prove the point. How critically important it is for us to walk in this light. And you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans that aren't, hey, you're in the line of fire for a grievous death. Joshua 1 and 8. Write the book of Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy, out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For when, for then thou shalt. May Salakia, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. You see, because ultimately, those of the hopeful elect, those of the elect, <laughs> all right, that are walking in this light, look in, Lord willing, with probably that precious number. Hey, this is gonna literally, uh, this is the ticket into the kingdom, man. All right, this is the ticket into the, Let me get this real quick, and only the Israel of Yasha Allah are going to be doing these things. Let's get this real quick in the book of uh, what's that? Galatians six. Bear with me. The book of Galatians chapter six, and verse sixteen it reads, "And as many as walk according to this rule, you see." This rule right here. Peace be on them. See? And mercy. And upon the Israel of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So walking in his light. 
All right, we're looking at peace and mercy, man. Hey, ultimately deliverance, man. And again, we understand that we're going to be living through predestination if we're part of that pressure number. But the, 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 the qualities that those of the elect are going to have and they're going to walk in this light. You see, that's why this is an ultimate act of mercy. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai allowing us to understand this truth. You see, for allowing us to, you know, uh, repent and turn to him. You know, and turn from our wickedness and walk in righteousness. This is an act of mercy, man. Because our people that are doing their own thing, they, you know, uh, uh, being um, rebellious, you know, they're willingly going off. Man, they got a judgment coming for them that they they, they can't even imagine. You know, they're going to be caught off guard. You know, they're going to be sidelined. <laughs> you see, they're going to be sidelined, man. Because they ain't want to hearken, man. You see, individuals like that wacky tacky, uh, pastor that was talking, speaking that rhetoric on the Elder Menachem Zakbar's uh, lesson he did. Let's get this in Baruch real quick, man. Hey, it's critical for us to walk in this light, man. Let's get this. Bear with me. These are sticking on me. The book of Baruch. What is that? Chapter. Uh, chapter four. Right? And verse 1, and it reads, This is the book of the commandments of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, and the law that endureth forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. You see? Hey, the laws are not done away with, like these wacky tacky Christians tell you, these pastors and a false prophets tell you, man, the laws are not done away with. Malachi 3 and 7. 3 and, uh, yeah, Malachi 3 and 7. I am the Lord, I change not. Malachi 3 and 6 or 7. Let's get it real quick. So we can nail that point home. You see? There's 613 laws, man. Okay? No, we can't keep them all. <laughs> But we are going to be rehearsing them. All right? That's one thing we are going to be doing. And those of the elect, Lord willing, we be part of that precious number, um, are going to be doing these things, man. The book of Malachi, chapter 3 and verse 6, and it reads, For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. You see? Our so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, starting with the elect. Okay, because ultimately the two-thirds are going to be consumed on this side because they lack this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding and they want to continue on in their wickedness. Let's read this again in the book of Baruch, chapter 4 and verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai and the law that endureth forever. Forever, man. There's no, they're not done away with. Okay? Even Yahweh Shai said he's not, he, he, he's not here to do away with the law or the prophets, man. But, do, but, but to fulfill you see, all that they, all they that keep it shall come to life. You see, but such as leave it shall die. You see, you're in the congregation of the dead. Proverbs, what's that? Proverbs 21 and 16. Let's get that real quick. Proverbs, now, nah, matter of fact, you know what I want to get? Let's get Ecclesiastes <laughs> 7. Let's get this real quick. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 7. Let's get this. Um, is it 7 and... Uh, let me see. Con 7 and 12. Right? For wisdom is a defense. And money is a defense. But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life. Backing up, backing up that Baruch 4 and 1, right? Wisdom giveth life 
to them that have it. What wisdom? This wisdom. The wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures, man. <laughs> Isaiah 33 and 6. Wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy time. And the strength of salvation, man. <laughs> this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is going to literally cradle us into the kingdom. You see, those of us that have it. Okay? For you, Jake, out there that don't want to hearken to the Lord. Hey, you're going to be left out there to get caught up in that judgment, man. Because of your disobedience. Because you don't want to return to your power. You know? This is why the Lord says, seek him while he may be found. You know, call upon him while he is near. Time is running out for you, Jake. This is the only way. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is the only way. We have no strength in our hands. We're coined as worms, man, in these scriptures, man. A strength has a worm has no strength, no power. Okay? We have to rely on Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. And it starts with this knowledge, man. It starts with this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, Jake. But we understand only the, you know, those of the elect are going to be able to receive this truth. The Israel of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Lord willing, we're part of that precious number. You know, we know we've been called. You know, Lord willing, we've been chosen. You know, but hey, this is it. This is the only way, Jake. You see? Repent. Repent. Let me close up with this. You got to repent, Jake. You know, don't follow individuals like that pastor talking about uh, <laughs> uh, believe on what you fail, not what you hear. No. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh has set up uh, 